Hello, and welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Uh, and welcome back to some more Space Engineers. Uh, so this is a temp like, I don't know, like 8 or 10 or something of me to record the opening of this. Um, uh, oh, it's it's been a mess. Uh, I've had all kinds of troubles. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change to Triton. Uh, it says it's easy. I don't know why. Uh, so we're going to go to Triton this time. Um, so, cause we can do earth like or whatever. Uh, I normally do earth like, uh, I'm going to do Triton, uh, because well, I can. Um, so we'll go ahead. Uh, oh, I think it's Triton because it's, uh, there's, there's an ice field. Uh, and I've now, I'm now going to land in the middle of the ice field. So it looks like I may have some ice. Uh, so I might be able to make oxygen fairly easily. Um, all right. So we got a little little guy there so if you haven't figured out how or if you're trying to figure out how to play the game uh and that uh now the only bad part about this is that like ice is good to have in the beginning um for oxygen and stuff but we have an oxygen planet so i'm not really worried about ice it can give us extra um uh fuel uh so hydrogen fuel so uh, we have this guy here, uh, which we can get our hydrogen bottle and our oxygen bottle, uh, which will be good. Um, so we'll do that. And then this guy here, we need to put rocks in. So right now, I think we are on an ice field. So, yeah, that's ice. So we're basically landed in the middle of a, a, a frozen pond. So if we do this, we can pick up a bunch of ice here. So ice will allow us... Oh, we're, we're already full. All right, that's good. Um, so if we go over here to this guy, we do this. We can take the ice and go bloop, like that. And then it will make oxygen for us. It'll be great. Um, but what we really need to is this is... Ice is great. Uh, but we need we need stone. Now the bad part about it is I may need to dig down to find stone because I think this is all ice and snow on the surface. So what are we picking up right now? What are we? Uh, we're picking up more ice. So if you right click and hold, we can dip, bore a tunnel. Hopefully get into where we stop getting ice. I need I need stone. I need I need the stone. Okay. Oh, well, that's not a not being helpful at all uh i thought this was supposed to be the easier start i need stone kind of to not dig too bad of a, a thing so i can actually walk out of here even though with this as much ice as we have we won't have to worry about uh hydrogen for our tank oh that looks like that might be stone all right so you need to come down to where it kind of changes color if you hit your flashlight, right, you can see it changes color. Uh, so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get down to the stone. And then we're just going to hold our F key and then slowly pick up rocks. And then once we do that, we'll kind of, you know, that seems a lot steeper than I thought it was. All right, but we can jump out of it. So that's important. Um, so we're going to go in here. We'll put all of our ice in here. Boop. One component couldn't be deposited. That makes sense. It checks out. Uh, then we're going to take our stone here. We're going to deposit our stone. Uh, we're going to go to our production. Uh, we're going to choose ingots. And we're going to hold shift. And we're just going to click a bunch of these. Um, so that uh, the, you know, as I throw rocks in here, the first thing this thing's going to do is just basically make uh ore and 
Uh, it's going to make gravel and stuff for us, and then iron and all kinds of other stuff. Obviously, I need a, a lot more stone to be able to do what we're trying to do here. So we'll go in here. We'll go pick up some more rocks. Uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, you're you're basically you're you're just mining rocks. You're trying to get enough ore to be able to do things, um, and being able to get going. You just need rocks. So uh, there are a lot easier ways to start the game. Uh, if you like, go to uh, I don't know why I'm carrying these bottles right now. I don't need them. Put these back in here for now. Uh, so, uh, it, you can go to the asteroid, you can do a space one, a moon base, there's, and, like, I don't understand, like, the moon base, if you do the moon base, it, it gives you one with wheels on it, uh, but if you do it on the planet, uh, you don't get wheels, you gotta make your own wheels, and I don't, I don't like that, I, I, I want wheels, I wanna be able to drive around. Alright, so we're gonna do that, and then, kinda, the next thing we need to do is look at are eight so we need to get us some solar panels here right so we need a couple of steel plates construction components right girders all right that's not the buttons i wanted all right so if we go in here we go back to our production thing we go steel plate we can go tell it we want like four of those i think we need like eight of these uh we need like 16 of these, I think. Um, construction components, we need like four of, I guess. Right? So we can kind of choose and pick pick and choose what we need. So basically it's out of stone right now. So then it, it's going to move on to this other stuff. Um, and as long as it has the resources to be able to build them, it will it will continue to make them. Now, if you're while you're waiting for it to build things, you can take your mining drill and run back down here. You can pick up some more rocks. Pick up a little bit more rocks. Fill up our inventory again. All right. And then as we're slowly oh going jumping down the other hole. So now if, if we're doing that and it's actively building that and I go bloop. Uh now it's going to if we go back here to production, it stopped, it started making the, the materials again. And then it will, once it gets done doing that, because they are the first one in the row. Uh, but I can go in here and I can go grab that. And I can grab this. And I can grab this. And I can grab these. Uh, so I can grab all that stuff. And then we can hit B. We can hit 8. Uh, and then I want to. Nope, not that one. Not that one. If we do, uh, yeah, like that. I'm going to do just like that. I'm going to just right off the side of the ship. Just like that. So basically, we're going to build us a couple of solar panels. Uh, and then have those things kind of pointing up to the sky. Uh, I do need a couple of computers. So uh, the way this works is over on the right, you see uh, the stuff on the bottom. You need pretty much the stuff on the bottom in order to be able to, to build it. Uh, and then as it goes up, uh, like the bulletproof glass, and I think that last construction component, you don't have to have those. Uh, it, it helps. It makes it stronger. It makes it more resistant to like damage and stuff. Uh, but if you don't have them, it will still function. It just won't. Um, like if it catches a, a bullet or you're running into something or something like that, uh, it, it's not going to work as well and it's easier to break. All right. So, but now if we do this, now, if we go in here and look right now, I'm going to go control panel and I'm going to go look at our, our beacon. So if we look at our beacon here, not a beacon, a uh, battery, battery. Uh, so right now it's saying stored power is this much fully depleted. So basically I have two days. So I don't, I don't want my battery to fully deplete. I want, I want it to be charged. 
uh, because if I run out of power, uh, bad things are going to happen. Okay. So now if I go back in and look at this again, I go back to my control panel and I go click on my battery again. Now it's going to be fully charged in 19 minutes. So uh, once, once the sun goes down, we want to be able to have enough power to make sure that we can, we can kind of keep the old, uh, the old system going here. Right. So, oh, voice. I, um, but yeah, so now we kind of got us a, a little guy here. Uh, we have some, some things we can kind of start building us a base. Uh, we need to really get, um, my hole. That's what I need. I need to get a bunch of iron plates. Uh, my suit energy is low. Uh, so that's that's probably that's probably not optimal. Uh, I could probably I could probably use with that not being a being a problem right now. And now my suit inventory is full and it's low on energy. Uh, so if you're you're getting low on energy, we're just gonna run in here. We're just gonna pop ourselves in the seat for a minute. Just kind of chill and wait for our suit to recharge itself. We don't have to worry about oxygen. Uh, eventually, I want to put a cockpit on this thing. Uh, ultimately, what I want to do is turn it into a kind of a little ship uh, and then kind of do that stuff. So what I'll end up doing is I'm probably going to cut the front of this thing off, uh, cut the landing gear out from under it, put some tires on it, and kind of turn it into a like a, a, a truggy or something just so that we can kind of drive down the road a little bit. Uh, and maybe find a better place to uh, to start instead of where we are currently. Um, oh, I need to put the rocks in. Uh, let's see, put the rocks in so that way it makes more of that stuff. Put the ice in so it makes more of that stuff. All right, and then back in the hole with me. All right, so we'll do this. We'll get us some more. Just just needing the rocks. Uh, that's all we need. And our inventory is full again. Either these rocks are extremely heavy. Or, uh, my thing. I guess it is. So, we're just uh, back and forth. And then, once we do that, I need to figure out. The problem is, is I need to build a refiner. So I don't know if I can build a basic refinery on this thing or not. No, I need an assembler, I think. Uh, a basic assembler. So I'm going to basically pull... Oh, that's it right there, I think. So... You can't place more while any aligning. Yeah, I don't think I can... It's not made. I think it has to be on a big, a big platform for me to be able to do this. Um, so I think what I need to do is I want to just place it. Oh, I need to still plate. Okay, fine. Uh, let's see. Control panel production. Uh, still plate. You'll probably don't need that many of them. Control gives us 10 at a time, which would probably be more than enough. Back in the hole we go. And eventually you'll find actual deposits and you're not you're not chopping up stone. Because the the issue is 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 we we need to we're chopping up stone because it gives us the the basic resources. Eventually, we'll get refiners and stuff that will we won't have to do all that with. Uh, it'll be it'll be a lot easier for us. So we can do production. Uh, let's see, uh, inventory. Give me that. Give me that. All right. So if we go over here, do four. I don't want, so if I do that, I can just kind of place me a big block like this. 
And then now these do take a lot more steel plates. Okay. All right, so we'll do that. And it's gonna take uh, basically 25 steel plates per each one of those. Uh, so yeah, that, that 100, 100 steel plates that we were making, probably not a bad plan. All right, so we can get that stuff done. Now we also need to get this, this assembler. So we need to get the assembler, but in order to get the assembler, yeah, we need a bunch of stuff too. So lots and lots of stuff to build and kind of go and find and mine and uh, just kind of get things started and set up. Hopefully we can get that. Now it will give you the ability to kind of give... Uh, to get the basics that you need for like the assembler and stuff like that. Um, so we can do that now. It, you see, really quickly, we're running, we're we're having issues, right? Because all right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna rotate this around like that, so that thing goes on the back. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead. So we need steel plates, uh, we need construction, we need motors, uh, so 40 construction four and 10 motors. All right, so 40 constructions, uh, let's see, 10 motors, and then I uh, need four displays and 80 computers. see where is production again two three four and then uh just just a few computers um so we're basically to a point now that we're having to uh go down here and get things that we need uh basically just so that we can <laughs> make the stuff that we need to be able to, to continue um so it's going to be a long process, uh, uh, basically running down to the hole, uh, throwing the rocks into here. Uh, and then at some point we're going to end up with too many, uh, too much gravel. Uh, it's going to clog everything up and we're going to have to get rid of that. Um, it, it, it's, it's a process. It's, it's space engineers. Like it's, we're, we're on a, a, a planet. We're here, but with a drop ship, nothing, nothing really major. Uh, now Pete is on a, think the moon um and doing doing pete things uh we're just we're trying the, the game out again uh it, it's been a long time since we've played uh it, we we've always fought kind of with a server uh the server for this thing like it's not very well optimized uh and that's part of the reason we're on our own server instead of a uh like buying a server, uh, the, the the real issue with it is is that the server really only uses three cores uh, of no matter how many you have. Uh, so I have a 10 core processor with hyper threading for my server. Uh, it only runs at three gigahertz. Uh, the game wants a five, five gigahertz, basically a five gigahertz three core processor. Um, and I don't have that. Uh, and I don't want to build basically a, a gaming computer just to run the server for this. Um, it probably should have a long time ago. Probably would have been a lot happier. Uh, I love the game. I, I this, this is probably uh, one of my favorite games. Um, it just not being able to play the server and uh, us breaking it. Uh, and usually usually our own fault when we did it. Uh, I'd love, I love to blame, you know, other things for it. Uh, but, uh, usually, usually we did it, uh, to, to be, to be perfectly fair. Um, 
right, so we'll get this guy here. All right, so as you can see, as you have stuff in your system, if you can, it will, it will, it will add it. If it can't, it won't. So I think most of my problem right now is my production is going straight into these. So if I drag that to the end, um, because what's happening is all the iron that I'm getting is going straight into building uh, plates. Um, and I need other things than plates right now. So if you grab that stuff and move it around so that it's, uh, it's re redone uh, what it's working on, it, then it will actually start producing other things. Um, and then we can go and just jump in the hole and go get some more stuff. So now it would be great uh, and uh, to have more people on the server. Um, Waif, not a good plan. I don't think, uh, I don't think Waif is ready for space engineers. Uh, the nephews probably probably could get get along with it they could probably probably do it uh but they uh it's that would be unlocking chaos Let's see all right so we're going or just just slowly chugging through that stuff yeah so you see we're we're just not uh well we got uh, we got a bit of iron down here so once it gets done doing this uh, it's just kind of making those as much as it can. Uh, and then once it kind of gets done, I guess if I really was smart, I could do it like this. And that way, if I had the ability to make something else at first, it would. And then when it runs out of the stuff I want it to make, then it will make that. Um, so that way we can get the stuff we need for our assembler. Uh, now, the, the reason I'm trying to build an assembler right now is because I need... Um, well, I need, I need power on here too. I'm going to need power to see. Now the issue here, oh, let's turn that on. Uh, we're going to run into an issue here real quick where uh, this is going to need quite a bit more stuff to it. Um, and when I eventually need a battery, uh, it's going to cause me some problems. Um, It's just, there's no way around it. It's just, it's just going to be a pain. E production. So yeah, we're making our, our motors now and then we'll start on the computers. And then we have, like I said, we have a, a decent amount of stuff kind of laying around. Let's see. Get the motors kind of done here. We got our motors. Now we're building our computers. Uh, and it, it's just, uh, we left all the, oh, and we need, need still plates now. But as you can see, it adds that stuff in. So now everything is kind of added in. And once I get the steel plates and that stuff, I can, I, I'll be able to, to do it. Um, but the game is a lot of hurry up and wait. It's, you know, make sure you charge your stuff. Make sure you have oxygen. You know, lot little things in life. Do, 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 do. Anytime now. How about now? All right. Back into the hole to get more rocks. I need more rocks. And uh, sorry, so I guess I can turn the lights on down here. Uh, you can turn the lights on. They will cause your battery to drain faster. Um, and my inventory is full. My inventory is full. Uh, and then the real problem is, is when you come out of the, uh, the cave and you forget to turn your lights on and then you run around with your lights on for, for a week. Um, and you're like, why does my battery drain so fast? Uh, now you don't want to leave a bunch of rocks laying around on the server, uh, because it is very bad for the server. It is not good at all. Uh, it, uh, all the loose rocks on the server is really what kills it. Uh, especially if you're mining with uh, some sort of a piece of equipment with lots of drills on it because uh, they all throw rocks at the same time uh, and it can cause massive problems. Um, 
So you want to make sure you're not leaving a bunch of rocks. And it's set uh, so once it gets to so many rocks, they'll start disappearing. So you really don't want to have them just laying around because uh, they will just it, all your work will be for nothing. And then you'll be sad because you have no you have no things. All right. So let's go here. So now we can get our assembler. So our assembler is completely completed now. All right. So we have an assembler. So if we go around here someplace, here's a box for it, right? So basic assembler. Uh, if I do this, I can open it. Uh, it's got no power, so it's not going to work. Um, but I can go to production now. And now I have radio comms. I have power cells, right? So I need nickel, silicon, iron, right? I need a, a handful of stuff. Now, what I need to be able to build over here, and I don't know if I can. Uh, so I need this thing. Uh, this is a basic refinery, though. A basic refinery won't melt down rocks, though. So that's not going to be helpful. So what I need is... Um... Oh, what the heck is this thing called over here? What is this thing? I need a survival kit, right? So I need to be able to try to build a survival kit. Uh, so, and then like that battery that's in there, if I take that apart, it blows up the power cells. So I can't pull that battery out, which is going to make my life horribly bad. Um, so this is a survival kit right here. So if I take this guy, put him right here, right? And then I put down a survival kit like this. Uh, then that will allow me to uh, control one, get back to here. Uh, so I need steel plates. I need two construction. I need medical co components. Right, so that stuff is, uh, uh, yeah. So now if I really wanted to, I could just cut the one out of the back of this and move it over there. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do, instead, is I'm going to grab these things like this. This. Go ahead, we'll cut, make this thing function. All right, and then I'm going to go in here. And then production uh, inventory, take these things. I'm going to go, hey, you can have, you can have this stuff. There you go. Uh, except for I don't have any iron. Is it just using all my iron? Oh, it used, it used all my iron because it's still making plates, I think. Yeah, it's still making plates. Do, 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 do. Uh, so back to uh, dingy dingy hole. So there's there's a there's a lot of this back and forth, uh, and we're going to continue to do that. Uh, I will probably take a little bit of time between this episode and next, uh, try to get some stuff kind of done, kind of get at, uh, get some power for the base, um, find my way out of this hole, get out of the hole. Get out of the hole. Uh, and then try to get some plates. Because uh, I, I just need I need lots and lots of plates. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that guy there. And uh, we'll just kind of let it go from there. So as always, if you guys are enjoying it, uh, please consider throwing a like in the video. If you have a question or comment or concern, uh, you can throw that down there also. Uh, and then uh, if you're not uh, subscribed and you would like to be, there's a button for that. With that, y'all be safe and we'll catch y'all next time.